All right, what is going on, ladies and gents? Randy here, Lord Kiss Mobile Gaming, bringing you a fantastic video today. In today's video, we are playing Lord of the Rings: Rise to War, and we are doing a stress test on my new build for Kamul. Let's take a quick look at the build, then we'll take a quick look at a stress test. Get excited, like and sub. Let's go. All right, so uh, I don't have him hitting to fifty yet, but he just hit forty-six. So I figured time to do a stress test and see if I'm training him to fifty for no reason or not. Uh, theory crafting wise, I've decided that using the Fallen uh, with Kamul is very beneficial because the Fallen gain enormous defense bonus from Kamul's skill. You can also load them up with a lot of defense from gear. So between the gear and the skill, I've more than doubled my defense and brought my total Fallen defense to 120. My damage is at plus 5, so they can be made very strong, okay? Um, in this build, the skill points that I'm talking about using are the rank 5 skill here, okay, the Black Easterling, which is going to uh, give you against enemy targets on a one round cooldown, minus 30 defense and speed, and give yourself plus 30 defense and speed. So with this, my Fallen will be at plus 150 defense, right? Then we have the Hamstring ability, which gives negative defense and negative speed debuff to the enemy that stacks every turn. So by turn 3 or 4, I mean we're looking at 18 to 24 reduced defense and speed. Okay, and then the Black Rider is absolutely amazing. This gives 6.5% stacking damage debuff to my mounted units. Uh, it stacks 3 times and it gives a Madness immunity, which is really key. We are facing uh, right now a lot of commanders that inflict madness, okay? Uh, then I've dropped down to the Respect 1 talent tree where I'm running second in command for a little bit of bonus damage. I'm running Discipline for that plus 35 defense. And Anticipation is going to keep my Bow Knights alive because they are in the back row, okay? I've thrown my few extra points here to put one point in the Dreadful Presence. This is going to significantly reduce the damage output of my enemies. This is going to proc... Uh, several times in the fight and cause them to deal minimum damage and if I'm facing targets like alchemists or axe throwers or something like that the dreadful presence will significantly reduce their damage output for the round okay so all that said and done fallen work like this okay fallen have an amazing ability it's called spite they get plus six percent damage dealt every time they receive damage and this stacks up to a total of 60 percent so the goal is uh, get the Fallen to take as much damage early in the fight as possible as it was as far as getting punched in the face as many times as possible while reducing the damage they receive by defense and everything else. Get this 60% damage bonus boost ASAP, okay? And then the Bonites are just there to add another layer of damage. They are also going to absorb miscellaneous crowd control effects and stuff like that from the enemy commander. Uh... And they are going to help if I do end up facing trolls or mama kills or something like that. The bonites, uh, bonites are going to be extremely effective against them. Okay, so let's go ahead and stress test against this 230 tile. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's find out. Hopefully, I get to kill a march or two. Uh, keep in mind, Kamul is not a massive damage dealing commander, so it's hard for him to solo high level tiles uh, without running. Some sort of burn build. So let's see how this plays out. I'm pretty excited. Uh, hopefully it comes out how I'm expecting, which is, you know, going into round three or four, you're going to be doing immense damage with the Fallen. Let's see how it plays out. And I did elect in this video to remove the Goat Riders from my march. I found in the last test that the Goat Riders uh, were absorbing way too much of the damage from the Fallen. Oh, this looks pretty promising, doesn't it? Look at that. This is a good looking attack on a 230. Okay. Ooh, the Fallen did a total of 210,000, uh, well, for the whole march here. 171,000 is dealt by my Fallen. A good chunk is dealt by the Bow Knights. Very nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at rounds uh, one, and then we'll take a look at round like five, just miscellaneously. Okay. So you can, here you can see the Black Rider. I gain physical damage boost per round plus Madness Immunity. Very effective skill there. Okay. Here we go. Here's Hamstring in effect. My two enemies, Bow Knights and the Sentinels, just got negative 6% defense. Uh, they both already had relatively low defense. 
So the Bow Knights have reduced down from 32 to 29 in defense. Okay. All right. So the Fallen attack. Here is the first stack of Black Rider. They attacked for 14,800. Uh, okay. The Bow Knight is dodging attacks. All of the... Oh, my God. All of the damage attacked my Bow Knights, which means my Fallen didn't get their damage boost. Here's another 6% stack. We're at a total of 12% negative defense and speed for the enemy. All right, here we go. The Fallen just picked up their first stack of Spite here in round two. Very nice from Thranduil. They picked up a second stack of Spite. Second stack of Black Rider. Third stack of Spite. Look at that. Fourth stack of Spite. So the Fallen now have four out of their ten stacks of Spite. So they are dealing, uh, going into into round three here. Check this out. This is the this is the money maker. In round three, I've got uh, the fallen dealing plus nineteen point five percent damage from the black rider, as well as plus twenty four percent damage from spite. So that's a total of just under forty four percent damage output, uh, increased damage from fallen. They're hitting for 18.8k. The enemy has some reduced defense. Let's jump to round 6. The enemy should have very low defense at that point. In round 6, the enemy has minus 36% defense there. Very nice. I think uh, Spite is at... Uh, okay, Spite's at its full 10 stack, which means I'm getting 60% bonus damage there. So I have a total of 80% bonus damage just about on my Fallen. Okay, so the Fallen are attacking the Sentinels for 22,449. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> clearly, it's not as nice as the Alchemist's uh, build, that's for sure. But it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Considering how tanky these guys are, they can really just absorb damage all day long. I'm, I would say that I'm actually pretty satisfied with the outcome of that fight. The second attack here is, again, against some squishy targets. So believe it or not, this build is going to be much more effective against targets that have uh, have high defense, like Gondor, Swan Knights, uh, Dwarven uh, units. Other units that have high defense are really affected by this build. The minus 35 defense debuff doesn't do a whole lot. When your total defense is only 19, uh, it really doesn't give you a massive damage boost. So this was a good... Test uh, Stress test, I like it. I'm happy with the build. I'm excited to test it in PvP against some people that have high defense. Uh, give me that like and sub. I love you guys. Long time. Randy out, baby.